Hello, my people. Oh, good morning. Oh, I greet you all. Oh, and I welcome to my page once again. Uh, please follow me and like my page and share also. Make when I see this Asare Dokubo, it's like now he he is realizing that uh, uh, it's not easy to finish Igbo people. I don't know what Igbo people do to this man. Every time he carry Igbo people for mouth, waiting Igbo people do Asare Dokubo. Last time he bring out gun to threaten all the whole Igbo people. Uh, he caused them. He used gun to threaten them. Another time he also uh, make mad that uh, the, uh, their father sell Igbo people. And uh, except from the British, they, he, he was supposed to be selling them more. It's like now he realized that Igbo people is not easy to, to, to kill or finish or wipe out. Mekona use on a mouth here. He's now begging Nigeria government to free Igbo people. Let Igbo people go. Let Igbo people go. This one is coming out from his own mouth. But he's supposed to know that people that are fighting to free themselves are not fighting for only Igbo people. They are fighting for Biafra. If they have referendum from their village, if they say they want to join Nigeria, let them join. But those who say they want to join Biafra, they should allow them to join Biafra. You cannot be shouting free Igbo people, let Igbo people go, let Igbo people go. It's not done that way. It's not done at all because if it is done like that, uh, 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 Igbo people have supposed to be, have gone since. So it is not a fight of Igbo people go. You have, you have seen it that Igbo people are just like that. Eh? You cannot deal with Igbo people anyhow. Even people who are not involved in, in the struggle are not targeting you. Because you, you, you abuse a whole nation, thinking that it's easy to deal with us. It's not easy, my brother. You must face what you have started. I heard that you are running away. Igbo people is not easy to, to, to intimidate or to push by the side. You must be careful. He is now begging Nigeria government, the federal government, the Tulumbu that he, he, he went to Asarok to meet, to let Igbo people go. My brother, you are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. You people must release Mazen and the Kano. Let him be a free man first before you talk about any other thing. Apart from that, all your effort will be a waste. The people you sent to come and kill our people, they will hunt you one after the other. They are in the bush now. They will hunt you one after the other. It's not easy to kill Igbo people. You must be careful. I beg Mona, listen. Try watch the video from beginning to end and share it, I beg. God bless you all. Please, in the name of God, why do we allow this vicious cycle of irritation of one people claiming to be victims when they are really the aggressors, when they are really the people offending others? Let us allow them go. National Assembly, let us vote. Let them go so that we, the, the burden there will be more resources for other people to manage. If they want, to, if we don't even need a referendum, the president should meet, the National Assembly should meet, somebody courageous enough to sponsor a bill at the National Assembly. There should be a constitutional, uh, a constitutional amendment the five Igbo state and any group of people who want to join them, let them join the let them join the Igbos and go. It's a challenge. Let the Igbos go. No be mount. I don't start a move. Now so me I they start my own. Anybody who wants to join them, join them. Me, my high door boom. There is nothing I'll do with evil people. So all these things, uh, releasing them, the can killing people. Hey, no. When the evils go, they can have him. They can manage him. They can make him uh, their Messiah, their Savior, their everything. There is no problem. But let them go. Let the evils go. We have a lot to gain if we get these people, 
give them what they are demanding for. We have a lot to gain. Let them go. Let them go and turn their country into El Dorado, into heaven on earth. Let the Hebrews go. Let them go. Please. National Assembly, President Ahmed Bola I am begging you, let us allow the Igbos go. We have a divine, a, a divine uh, border, a divine space, the five states. If other people say they are Igbo people, they want to join them, oh yeah, join, let them go. Let the Igbos go. Let the Igbos go so that we too will rest. They too will rest. Then we will see. We will see. They will, they should, we should not. They should be barred from coming into our country. They should stay in their country. Now you see whether any of us will go to their country. You see whether any of us go to their country. Whatever product they have, if they want to fly it, they should fly it anywhere. We we'll allow them fly. But I know that they will not pass in your territory to pass that. We will not allow them. We will not allow them pass in your territory to go and export their distance. So any other people who will allow them anything, who airspace they want to use, they can use. But I know at least they will pass through Kal Kalabar occupies the widest uh, coastal line in Nigeria. The widest coastal line in Nigeria. From Santa Barbara to New Calabar River. Let the Hebrews go now. Please. If you do this, President Ahmed Bolatinibu, you would have done the greatest thing to the whole of the black race. You would have cleansed Nigerians of all the debt that Igbos have brought on us in South Africa, everywhere, in Thailand, in Malaysia, in Indonesia, in the Philippines, everywhere. You would have done a lot for us. Your name will go into the annals of history as one of the greatest persons in the history of this world. And this National Assembly will, will go down as one of the greatest National Assembly in this world. Let the Igbos go. No gun, no shooting, no killing, no nothing. Let them go. All of them, whether it is sympathetic because they don't talk, whether it is sympathetic people or moderate people, all of them, their country, whether they want to take the John name Biafra self, we touch them, make them take them. The job people don't touch on the name Biafra, eh? we don't touch on the name Biafra. Take her, make her go. Make on a go. Let the Igbos go. All the pipelines from Igbo land, their small uh, cup of oil that they produce, the pipeline, we cut it off. Give them their own. No problem. We give them their own. Make them go. Let the Igbos go. No problem. There will be no way uh, Alaba market, uh, Ladipa market, uh, computer market. No, all those things will no longer be there. Let the Igbos go. Let the Igbos go. Please, President Ahmed Bola I am going to write, I am going to collect signatories of over one million people all over Nigeria. Mm -hmm. 
We are going to send it to the National Assembly. We will march to the National Assembly. Demand that the National Assembly should allow the Igbos go. What is it right here now? No, I won't go. All of a sudden, I say, make on I go, it's a hatred. What is hatred? You want to go? Let the evils go. I will collect one million. Mark this thing. I will collect one million signatures. One million signatures. I will march to the National Assembly. I too big for Igbo people. I took big for now, Yema. I took big for now. Who are to be? Let Ibos go.